We're in today with the Radeon X1800 XT. This is a 2005 video card with 512 megabytes of VRAM GDDR3, running at 621 megahertz on the core clock and 747 megahertz on the memory clock. It's got 256 bits bus width, DirectX 9, and today we're gonna pair it up with this i7 4 gen with four cores and eight threads. This is an awesome video card considering the age, but the best thing we can do, jump in a couple of games and see how it holds. Let's go. Okay, let's start with Fallout on 720p with lowest details because this is a very interesting performance this video card has got. On the core side, you can actually see the video card's core. It's uh, around 60-70% load. But you can actually see the moment I start walking around, looking at the uh, environment, the, engaging with the field of view, you see that uh, the core either is 50%, it's, uh, either it's 90% loaded. On the CPU side, I have no problem. 11.3 uh, gig of system. I'm utilized. What the? the CPU is doing the job, it's got no problems, but uh, at the same time, uh, the only thing I'm uh, concerned is about the video card. You know, in this case, you can see that if I put more than uh, low details on this video card, it's gonna struggle on actually achieving 60 FPS. So I think this is the best uh, setup for this video card, 720p with low details. It's got only 100 megabytes of uh, VRAM utilization, even though it's got 500 megabytes, it's uh, not utilized. In this case, you can see that the video card is capable of doing the job, you know? So if I'm interested on playing Fallout, it will be something like this. If I have a, a steady frame time, 60 FPS on average, you know, I will call this a big win because this is what I want from an old video card like this. This is a 2005 video card, you know? You need to understand this video card was not meant for Windows 7. This was meant for Windows XP or something like that, you know? Be back in the days, Windows XP was something uh, generic, you know? This is one of those games that actually utilizes the resource from this video card properly. Let me explain. In this case, the video card itself has got 500 megabytes of VRAM and uh, it's utilizing 463 megabytes. That's actually good. But what resolution you have, Daniel? I got 720p with maximum details, full dynamic, like everything is turned on. And to show you, this is an example how MS Afterburner doesn't work. I mean, it doesn't work. It doesn't show me the core load. It doesn't show me the frequency frequency on the core, it doesn't show me the frequency on the memory clock, that's it. I don't have any temperature sensor because only in GPU-Z apparently I have a temperature sensor. I cannot adjust uh, the fan speed because this is a blower style and I think with the drivers on uh, Windows XP you can do that but in, on Windows 7 it's not possible. This is 720p with maximum details and I got 30 FPS but I think the best way to play this game in this situation will be to lower the resolution. Now if you put the game on uh, 1024 you can actually see it can get almost 40 fps 43 45 fps on average even the wattage is nearly 200 watts consumption with this video card considering it's got one six pin connector in the back this video card can actually push some nice fps if you adjust the resolution and the details properly the frame time is steady it's got some spikes here and there you can actually see it's uh, not uh, that bad but uh, i think if you adjust the light a couple of uh, details in the game you can end up with 60 fps and uh, use this uh, as a nice uh, gaming retro gaming uh, pc i started the game with low expectation but i put the game on 800 by 600 and i wanted to see if this uh, video card is capable of delivering more than 30 fps and it does look at it <laughs> i'm so proud of it 2005 video card uh, apparently uh, the other uh, monitor doesn't work the other software is not working with this uh, combination you know new software uh, newish game old uh, video card doesn't combine very well but on low details with everything turned off you can actually see in some cases you reach uh, 50 fps depending where you look you know if you look at the ground you get 75 if you look at the sky 130 fps can i push this video card in this system or nearly 200 watts i'm looking at this <laughs> 199 that's the cap, seriously. 40 FPS, it's okay, you know, for a video card like this, I will take this as a big win. It's meant for older games, that's it. If you want to play some older titles with this, it will be fantastic. And in this case, you can actually see that it's possible to utilize this video card for an older uh, generation of games, if I can say that. Look at it, look at the shadows. What the? 
I wish I had seen the core uh, load. I wish I can see the fl- all of the other settings because it would have been a very nice thing. But all in all, I call this a big win with this video card. Hear me out. This is actually cool because I want to test a couple of more um, settings in this. Galaxy on fire with this video card is actually cool. Let me explain why. Look at the load on the video card. I got only uh, 30% load on the core of the video card and 0.1 gig of uh, VRAM. That's 100 megabytes of VRAM. And in this case, I'm on low details with 1080p. Come on, 1080p on a video card like this is something absurd, you know? To see this amount of FPS averages minimal 47, 53, 1%. So there is room for this uh, video card to take in more details. So we're gonna load it up to medium details and see how it looks and how it's performing. So with medium details, I already got 50% load on this uh, video card. 200 megabytes of VRAM utilization. The system doesn't have any problem. So this is an exaggeration when it comes to this i7 4th gen. You know, it's 2.7 gig of system RAM utilized here. This is an insult for this uh, i7. It's like, why you brought me here to play this game? <laughs> <laughs> doesn't matter i like this uh, performance uh, this uh, video card is offering in these games you know seriously I, I wish there were more games like this i wish there were more open world games like this if we're jumping in skyrim with this video card with uh, 720p with lowest details you can actually see the video card is struggling to give me more than uh, 40 fps this is on average you know 38 37 and i think it's gonna drop even lower because uh, this is not the right uh, resolution for this game i mean the game itself you know for a video card that is from 2005 is just a statement that this video card can still survive in a couple of uh, newish games <laughs> newish games considering the game uh, year so averaging 40 fps you can go exactly how i did uh, on um, stalker with uh, 1024 or even 800 by 600 in order to get uh, more uh, fps for this uh, video card it's a very impressive performance this video card uh, is managing to offer us today here with this uh, game seriously 300 megabytes of uh, vram uh, oh, utilized here in order to deliver this i think if i play the game a little more and load up the texture i think i will reach 400 megabytes of vram i like the sensor here that is showing me i am the radeon x1800 xt you know so in this case with 720p with low details you can actually see the video card is doing a fantastic work 300 megabytes of VRAM utilization. So with 720p with low details, I got 100% load on the video card score. This is actually a good performance when it comes to this uh, video card. 4 gig of uh, system RAM utilized. When it comes to a video card like this and online gaming, I will say this is the biggest win ever because if I can get 90 FPS as an average with 41 minimal, say 62 or 1%, and uh, not stress the video card, this is the best. It shows me that the video card is capable of. Let me put uh, this on the side and see if i can get some nice averages because the game looks even like this on low details looks okay can't say nothing bad about it because it's doing the job no this is gonna be very interesting to see how uh team fortress is running with this <laughs> video card i mean it's starting the game has got no problems i put 720p with lowest details you know i i put i turned down everything and you can actually see the video card it's capable of delivering some nice entertainment in this case you know 200 megabytes of vram utilized here with maximum core load i will call this a big win because the video card is holding pretty well with nice averages 100 fps on average after fighting a little you can notice that the video card is, is capable of uh, some nice entertainment it's one of those situations in which the video card has no problem on giving you nearly 100 fps on average 31 minimals and 38 on one percent is actually good for a video card like this so i will call this a big win considering the age of the video card you know this is the type of game that needs to be added on a video card like this the system doesn't have any problem 5.3 gig of uh, system ram uh, utilized here with less than 30 percent load on the cpu that's nothing to this seriously considering the age of the video card i will say this is a very nice performance this video card managed to offer me today seriously i love the idea that uh, this is still alive and is still performing even today <laughs> 2005 seriously <laughs> one more year and it's 20 years old video card one more year and this video card is 20 years old this will be the first thing i want to test when it's 2025 seriously so yeah 
<laughs> this is awesome. I, I can't say nothing bad about it, you know. So overall performance with an uh, old video card like this, I think it did very well. The only thing I have to do is select the right games in order to make this video card run properly, you know. There is no point on actually putting games that doesn't work on it, you know, or works really bad because, you know, it's just how it is, you know, it's an old video card, but it's got 500 megabytes of VRAM, you know, there's a lot of uh, newish video card that doesn't have 500 megabytes of VRAM and it performs really bad. But overall, performance in this case was fantastic. Do I recommend a video card like this? If you can find a chip, majority of the time now, because of the age, they are become very rare, you know, and they are expensive. But if you do manage to find one, it's a fantastic thing to have because uh, you can build a nice uh, old retro machine or an old PC and you can put uh, old games and this video card can actually do the job. I recommend an operating system lower than Windows XP because then you'll have control on the fan because today I didn't have the control on the fan. I had to put some fans on the side because it was... Uh, adjusting it automatically and I didn't want the video card to reach higher temperature. I think I seen the sensor on GPU-Z were around 70 degrees and I didn't like that because this is something that uh, is damaging the video card. But overall, this was a very nice experience and I liked it. And I recommend having a video card like this in your library as a trophy, if it makes sense. If you can find it cheap, of course. If you have any suggestion for this video card or for the system, leave a comment and I will see you very soon.